All right, we'll see you in a bit, Mike. Thank you. Well, night two of a curfew here in New York City is now over. Still, police say they were busy overnight, making hundreds of arrests after reports of looting and other violence. Meanwhile, one area of the Bronx remains untouched after a heavy police presence during this curfew. News 12's Joanna Hernandez is in Co-op City for us this morning with more. Joanna. Yeah, good morning, Asia. It wasn't perfect, but it was quieter overnight in the city than what we've seen in the past couple days. Now we're outside at Bay Plaza Mall and there's a heavy police presence here. Just a minute ago, there was a patrol vehicle right in front of this entrance and multiple others inside the mall. Now there were rumors that Bay Plaza was going to be a target. Flyers circling saying groups were planning to break into these stores. The police department clearly taking it very seriously. We've seen more than a dozen cop vehicles completely surrounding the entire mall and even adding barricades throughout most pathways to get in. Yesterday we were here as people boarded up storefronts trying to avoid what we what went down on Fordham Road the previous night. As I mentioned, it is pretty calm down here. It doesn't seem it was targeted. The mayor hoping the curfew rule helps keep the looting under control, but it hasn't stopped people from gathering peacefully to demand justice for George Floyd and countless others who've died in the hands of police. A nationwide outcry for a nation out outcry for change. We're talking about real change within police departments, activists and leaders continuing to call out for police for policy changes that will hold police officers accountable. Now here in our city, we're told that we're told more than 200 people were arrested overnight in Co-op City. John Hernandez, News 12.